Hello everybody. For today's video, I'll be discussing the problem solving strategy. So, let us start with the person who is behind this following strategies. He was known as the father of modern emphasis in problem solving. He is none other than George Polya. So, dito, I'll be discussing different strategies in problem solving. So, what are the different strategies? So, unayin natin yung most famous one, the Polya's four-step strategy in problem solving. Ito yung pinakauna, Polya's strategy or Polya's method. Then, the other one is the guess and check. We also call it as trial and error method. Okay, trial and error method. Mamaya malaman nyo kung paano ba yung na-apply ito mga to. And the other one is make an orderly list. In this method, you just, you just have to list down the possible answers until you reach the final number of uh, list. Kung ilan talaga yung mga magiging sagot dun sa problem natin na yun. So mamaya mas maiintindihan nyo kung ano ba ibig sabihin na ito. Then we also have <clears throat> draw a diagram. In solving a problem, in mathematics, sometimes you, you really need to draw a diagram for you to be able to understand how are you going to attack the problem and to solve it. Next is look for a pattern. Uh, we, we use this strategy especially when we are dealing with uh, sequence and series of numbers. So you, you just have to look for a pattern then you will be able to find out the final answer in that problem. Then we also have this, the working backward. In this case, to solve the problem, you just have to work on the problem in a backward manner. So, ito yung mga strategy natin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. We have 6 strategies in problem solving. We will focus on each strategy that we have in here. So I'll be giving one example each where we can apply the strategy that we have in here. So let's start with the first one. Um, this is the problem class. Let's start with this. The Polya's four-step strategy in problem solving. There are four steps in this method. What are those? So the four steps in problem solving in Polya's method are this. <clears throat> Number one, you have to understand the problem. In this step, you just have to comprehend the problem, know what are the given, what is being asked, what is missing, and which operation do you think are involved. Number two, step two natin, kay Polya's method, we have a device, a plan. In this method, you just have to look for a strategy that you can use to solve the problem. Dito nagpa-plano ka na kung ano yung pwede mong gawin para ma-solve yung problema. Then, in step 3, you have to carry out the plan. Whatever method that you you thought of in step number 2, you just have to implement that on step number 3. Okay? Then after finding the, the answer in step 3, you have to proceed to step 4 which is looking backward. In looking backward, you just have to check whether your final answer is really the final answer on your problem. So, para mas maintindihan yung four steps na to, let's have an example. Example number one, where we can use the Polyus method. So, as you can see, this is the problem. The sum of two numbers is 42. The larger number is 2 more than the smaller number. What are the numbers? 
Step 1, let's try to understand the problem. So sabi dito, the sum of two numbers is 42. Meron daw dalawang number na pag pinag-add natin, ang sagot ay 42. Okay? The larger number is 2 more than the smaller number. So in this sentence, if we're going to analyze this, the two number has a restriction or meron dapat siyang qualification. Kasi marami naman dalawang number na pag pinag-add mo ay 42, like 41 plus 1. Pero dito dapat, the larger number is 2 more than. Itong word na to is 2 more than, you have to translate that into mathematical sentence para mas maintindihan nyo. Then, ang pinakatanong, what is being asked, is that what are the numbers? Ano yung dalawang number na pag pinag-add natin ay 42? Wherein, yung unang number daw ay mas mataas ng dalawa doon sa isang number. So, ganun natin siya naintindihan. Step number 2, devise a plan. In devising a plan, you have to represent the the given. So, meron daw dalawang number. Dalawang number na kapag pinag-add plus ang sagot ay magiging 42. Kailangan mo i-represent ano yung unang number mo. Halimbawa, i-represent mo muna yung small number. Halimbawa, let x be the smaller number. Ang sabi dito, the larger number is 2 more than. When we say more than, mas mataas daw ng dalawa. Kung ito yung mas maliit na number, x, yung isa mong number ay mas mataas ng dalawa, so, ito ay dadagdig mo lang ng 2. So, lagay mo dito, x plus 2. Ito yung larger. So, meron kang representation, yung dalawang number daw, ay pag, pag pinag-add mo, dapat 42. Your smaller number is represented by x, and the other number, which is 2 more than the smaller, is represented as x plus 2. Para ma-meet natin yung qualifications. Next, yun yung device sa plan, yun yung step 2 natin. Next, let's have the third step. The third step here is carry out the plan. In carrying out the plan, ano gagawin nyo? Gagawin mo na ngayon kung ano yung pinapagawa dito sa step number 2 mo. Yung dinevise mong plano. Okay? So, sabi, ipag-add mo yung dalawang number. So, ang una mong number, yung smaller, x. Sabi, ipa-plus mo siya sa pangalawang, sa pangalawang mong number, which is x plus 2. Pag pinag-add mo daw yung dalawa, dapat daw ay equal yan sa 42. Ngayon, para ma-solve natin itong class, ipag-add lang natin yung dalawang x. x, tsaka x. Pag-add natin yan, x plus x is 2x. Then, may may iwang to dito, plus 2. Some might do this. Yung x, i-distribute nila dito. Yung x, yeah, i-distribute mo x times x, then x times 2. Mali po yun. Mag-distribute ka lang kung wala tong plus na to. Okay, kung yung x na yan ay katabi mismo ng parentheses. Pero since may plus dyan, you can just simply remove the parentheses and add the similar terms. x plus x, we have 2x. Then, itong 2, wala naman siyang kapares sa constant. You just have to copy here, 2. Then, equals 42. Then, 2x plus 2 equals 42. Itong 2 na to, gagamitan natin ang tinatawag nating balibag method. Itong 2, ibabalibag mo sa kabila. Pag nagbalibag tayo, magbabago ang sign. Okay? So, magiging 2x. Then, equals na kaagad kasi yung tumawala na pagpunta sa kabila. 42. Then, minus 2. Ang tanong, bakit si 2 ang inilipat natin o binalibag sa kabila? Kasi ang goal natin, mahanap yung value ni x. So, kailangan, x must be isolated. So, si 2x, i-isolate natin. Nasa isang side lang siya, walang kasama. Yan, nandito na yung dalawang constant. 42 minus 2. And then, magiging 2x equals 42 minus 2 is 40. 
you have to find the value of x. In this case, you have to divide both sides by 2. So, lagay natin dito. Two x equals forty. Divide both sides by two. Cancel. Matitira si x. Yan ay smaller number mo. Equals forty divided by two. Or lagay mo sa calculator mo. Hati mo to sa dalawa yung forty. Your answer is twenty. If you got the value of x already, therefore you can also get the value. Of your larger number. This one is considered as your smaller number. Kasi based yan dun sa plano mo. Sa plan. Kung babalikan mo to. You have this. X yung smaller. Ito yung value ng x. 20. Siya yung smaller. Ano yung x plus 2? Yung 20 dadagdagan mo lang ng 2. So yung x plus 2 mo ay equal yan sa, yung x ay 20, yan yung x, then plus 2, that is equal to 22. So, ito yung unang value, ito yung pangalawang value, the larger one. So, meron ka ng x, 20, x plus 2 is 22. So, that is your step number 3. Now, you may now proceed with step number 4. Look backward. So, in looking back, in this step, you have to look backward. You go back to your plan a while ago. In this plan, so yung kailangan mag look back backward ka. Lagay mo dito sa unang blank si x. The x value kanina ay 20. Plus, Yung x plus 2 mo kanina, ito, ay 22. So, 20 plus 22, that is equal to 42. So, pag pinag-add mo to, 42 equals 42. If you satisfy this condition, therefore, your answer is correct. So, that's how you do the... Polya's four-step strategy in problem solving.